Brad Bomb Punch Pickett, and I'm a cage junkie. Welcome back, cage junkies. I'm here with uh, upcoming UFC veteran Brad One Punch Pickett. Uh, we're standing here at American Top Team. Brad, I know you're coming uh, all the way from England, and you come over to American Top Team to get your training in. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about these voyages that you do over to America to get your training in? Well, I'm from England, obviously, and uh, I was doing okay back there about five years ago. But to bring my game to the next level, I had to look to train overseas. And I, I came here five years ago, met with uh, Lebo and American Top Team and Maya Brown. And become really good friends with my band and like I've been coming back ever since you know I, I still live in England uh, but before train before fight I come here like you know we used to be like five six weeks before fight now I come out here like ten weeks before fight you know because I'm at a different level so uh, I'm out here a long time now you know it's my like second home you know so I'm used to it out here now I know that uh, you got a real tough opponent coming up this is your first UFC bout yeah I was supposed to make my UFC debut back in um, May against Miguel Torres. Uh, unfortunately, I got injured. Uh, I had a in my back. Uh, I've just started coming back now, and uh, hopefully now I get to make my UFC debut, which is really good for me because it's actually on UFC 138 uh, back in England, and I'm the co-main event, so it's, it's going to be good for me. That's an incredible opportunity, Brad. I know you're bringing uh, a lot of energy with your boxing. You've got really good ground game. What's your strategy going into this fight? I'm just bringing the fight to him. I don't think he's ever fought someone uh, with my intensity. He likes to control the fight, where I like to control the fight. And if I get him to fight at my pace, which he's going to have to, uh, he's going to get tired. And you know, I just just relenting this going forward. And I, I believe that he would not like to stand with someone like me. You know, and he, he's I've read a few interviews. He's worried about me taking him down and all that sort of stuff. I, I think he's worried about standing up with me. So I I, I think. It's different, I go, so no, that put me off. All right, Brad, so UFC 138? UFC 138 in uh, November 5th, back in England. Awesome, now I got a quick question for you. You got a fellow countryman with a big fight coming up. He's a uh, coach of Ultimate Fighter, Mike Bisping. What do you think of that fight with him and Jason Mayhem Miller? Uh, I actually like both guys. I'm like, just because uh, Bisping's uh, from England, I don't root him more than uh, Miller, but I actually get on with uh, Bisping quite well. I know he has a lot of uh, haters and stuff, but he's done really well for the sport in my for my country as well. And uh, I, I just think, as much as I like Miller as well, I, I think Bisping should come away with this one. Awesome, Brad. Now, uh, for all our cage junkies out there, where can they find you at? Uh, you can follow me uh, on uh, Twitter. My uh, tag is at one underscore punch. Um, also, you could, I've got a fan page uh, on my Facebook. My Facebook friends, my actual personal ones, Max, that are kind of more friends. But if you follow me on my, my, uh, my uh, fan page, uh, no, uh, I'll keep everything up to date with what I'm doing. Awesome. You heard it first, Kate. Okay,